many would-be buyers out there ask me, well, what are the financial benefits of home ownership? Let's take a look. Are you looking to buy a home for the first time? If so, you probably understand this is a tough market to buy a home in. The truth is there are many benefits to buying, even in a tough market. Most buyers like to take advantage of historically low interest rates and start to build equity right away. But there are also tax advantages to owning a home as well. If you're thinking about buying soon, it's crucial to be aware of these benefits. Benefit number one, mortgage interest. Five years after owning your home, you can deduct interest on the loans of up to a million dollars. And before then, you can deduct loans up to $750,000. However, if you're a first time buyer, it's unlikely you'll hit that cap. This is important because it's another way your mortgage payment will be cheaper than renting. Benefit number two, property taxes. If you're married, you can deduct up to $10,000 in property taxes, no matter how much you actually owe. Just make sure the tax benefit from doing this is worth more than the standard deduction. Talk to your CPA for the best advice there. Tax benefit number three, private mortgage insurance. So deducting PMI, as it's called, from your uh, taxes could also help reduce your taxable income. Now, the Mortgage Tax Insurance Deduction Act of 2021 extended deductions and credits that uh, were set to expire in 2020. So in order to see if that's a great savings for you, talk to your CPA. Tax benefit number four. There are many upgrades, energy efficient upgrades throughout the house, depending on your jurisdiction, that will allow you to get a tax deduction. Some of those include solar panels, um, hot water heater upgrades, insulation, and more. Check with your local uh, municipality to see what um, heating and cooling companies to see what kind of items you could do to your future home in order to get a tax deduction. Tax benefit number five the one that's really been used over the last couple years, and that's the home office deduction. More and more people are working from home and more houses have offices as a result. If you're self-employed and working from home, you can deduct $5 for every square foot of your office up to 300 square feet. The bad news is if you're a W-2 employee, you can't take advantage of that credit. So as you can see, there are lots of incentives to buying your first home. Not only these fantastic tax benefits that you get, but also if you want to move a wall, if you want to paint a wall, you don't have to ask permission. If you know anyone out there that's looking at buying, selling, or investing in real estate, contact the Eastside Real Estate team today.